Hello everyone, my name is Robert Smith, Administrator of Education for Foley Family Wines. Today I'll be joining Vegas Golden Knights and Foley Family Wines owner, Bill Foley. And we will be visiting our very good friend Wolfgang Puck at his downtown summer location, the Wolfgang Puck Bar and Grill. You know, I was always interested in wines. When I started Spargo, we only had a one-page wine list. Now at Spago we have 120 pages. Really? So to me, wine is really always the important part to marry food and wine together. You know, the rich people drink French wine. Now it's the opposite. Everybody wants to drink the high-end caps, high-end Pinot Noirs, and for everyday wines, we have so many great wines. You know what you do? Put it in the middle the way I like to eat. We put it in the middle and we share it. All right. Nobody's gonna eat such a big pasta or a big salad, so. <laughs> yeah. Look at oh that. Oh my God, look at that. Look at that. All right, where should we start? What's the matter with you? Look at you. All right, I, I guess. This is, this is what people look at you and say, this is all you do? I know. They said, oh, it's so easy. I can do that. Look at this beautiful meal. So we have a little bit to go with white wine, obviously a salad or things with white wine, and then we have a ribeye steak with fries. You need a good cabernet. What made you think of downtown Summerlin, I guess, as far as putting your restaurant, and actually for yourself as well, with a facility in your offices, what, what does the Summerlin mean to the two of you? Downtown Summerlin is really a town center. You know, our cities are so spread out, Las Vegas, Phoenix, Los Angeles, so you don't really have a community, a town center. That's why I think it's great to have the restaurant here, but also to have events here, like the ice rink here, you know, where the Golden Knights play or train, and then have it also for the public. I think it's amazing, it creates a community. How many restaurants do you have? Just a few here and there. We have uh, restaurants a little bit all over the world now. But now in Vegas, we still also grow, like we have here a restaurant in Summerland now for two years. We obviously have Spargo. We're gonna move Spargo to the Palacio next uh, spring. Yeah, are you great? So we are very excited about that. You know, we were the first one to come here. There was no restaurant with any name chef in Las Vegas at that time. And then I convinced Emerald to come and Mark Miller to come. And then the rest of the world showed up. Which is fantastic yeah. for the town. For the, great for the town, yeah. Now you have more great restaurants here than in any city. And I'm happy the way people support us here. Wherever we are, we always try to cater to the locals. Because if I go to Paris, I don't want to go where the tourists go. I want to go where the Parisians go. You know, if I go to Italy, the same thing. You know, it's amazing how sports make a community. You know, because we all root for the same thing. Restaurants, there are many different ones, but there's only one Golden Knight, only one hockey team. Yes. So everybody is into it. And it's fun. I mean, we're doing, we're doing well. We're, we have great players. The players are involved in the community. They come out to the community. Yeah, now David told me a lot of them live in the neighborhood here, so they use the restaurant. Obviously, they go downtown to the arena. But if not, you want to stay in your neighborhood where you have friends, and then it becomes their hangout, really, also. I want to thank you for help opening up the, the doors in the restaurant scene in Las Vegas and for sports and for wines and for everything else. So, gentlemen, for the two of you, 